Hi to everyone out there in the Rise High family. Thanks for tuning in today. Today I'm talking about how your family might be able to help you if you're a little bit low on deposit and you wanna get into your first home. So there's two ways your family can help you. The first way your family can help you is through a gift of cash. So basically what that means is that your family might have some spare cash that they're happy to give to you to contribute towards your deposit on your home purchase. What needs to happen in this situation is your parents need to be willing to sign a letter that we give to the bank to say it's a non-refundable gift to go towards the purchase of your new home. We're then able to add that amount onto your deposit to reduce the amount of money that you have to borrow and help get you into home ownership sooner. Now there's a few things to consider with this approach. The first thing is that the parents do have to declare that it is a non-refundable gift and they do have to sign that declaration. The other thing to consider is that even though you are getting that gift from your parents, you may still be borrowing more than 80% of the value of the property. In which case, you may still have to pay some lender's mortgage insurance. So just make sure that you've spoken to your mortgage broker to be aware of what the cost of that mortgage insurance is gonna be so that you understand. The other criteria is that you probably will need to show the bank that you have the ability to save money. What we call that is genuine savings. Now there's a few different ways we can show the bank that you have the ability to save money and, and that you have genuine savings. One way, for example, is that you have actually been actively saving and putting away money each week, fortnight or month yourself. That's a great way to show genuine savings. Another way we can show genuine savings is if you've been renting from a landlord that has a property manager and you've been paying your rent regularly and meeting all of your rental commitments. That's, some of the banks actually accept that as a way of proving genuine savings. Another way of genuine savings is if you do get a cash gift from your parents and you leave that money sitting in your account for at least three months, that's also a further way that we can show genuine savings. There are other ways that we can show genuine savings, but the best thing to do is to speak to your mortgage broker and find out how you're gonna demonstrate the genuine savings that you need to demonstrate, how much potentially you might have to pay in lenders mortgage insurance, and making sure that the cash gift that your parents are happy to give you is going to be enough to help get you into home ownership. Now, there is a second way that family can help to get you into home ownership sooner that doesn't actually involve them having to give you any money. And that's what we call a family guarantee. Basically the way this works is your parents would put up some form of security to guarantee or secure the part of the loan that you can't guarantee yourself. So for example, if you go and buy a house, the bank will lend you up to 80% of the value of that house. And then the remaining percentage, whether it's 20% or 15% or 10%, depending on how big your deposit is, will actually be secured against an asset that your parent owns. So that might be some equity that they have in one of their properties, whether it's their home or an investment property they have, or they might have some cash that they're happy to sit in a term deposit in the bank that we can actually use as security for the portion of the money that you need to borrow to access your deposit. The great thing about this example is that no lender's mortgage insurance is payable, so that is saving you potentially thousands of dollars. Um, but it does mean that your parents' security is tied up whilst that loan is in place. So that's an important consideration for your parents and yourself to understand because they can't sell that property or you know, refinance that property very easily whilst that family guarantee is in place. So definitely a lot to think about and a lot to talk about with your family. If you think that your family might be in a position and might be wanting to help you with your purchase of your first home, then it's definitely a great idea to bring them along to your meeting with us so that we can actually go through all the pros and cons of all the different options with you and with them so that everybody understands. And definitely if we are involving your parents through a guarantee structure, we do like to try and release the guarantee as soon as possible. And that's possible over time because as time goes on, you'll be making repayments to pay down your loan principal. And also we hope that your home value will increase. So over time, what we find is that the value of your home increases, your loan reduces. And once we get to the point where that actually equates to an 80% 
loan to value ratio, which means that the loan is 80% of the value of the house, then we are able to apply to the bank to get your parents released from the guarantee. So I hope this information has been useful. We'd love to catch up with yourself and your family to see how we can get you into home ownership sooner. Please reach out to us if there's anything we can do or any questions that you have. Thanks and have a great day. Bye.